Hello guys, welcome to EZTV Presents Tech View, uh, another episode. And this episode is special. I'll release some series of uh, videos and I'll cover a complete course. So complete course means I will teach on this course, uh, system administration, like uh, IT system administration, system admin and VMware admin. So system admin and VMware admin, uh, it's a complete six month course with um, 28 lecture. I know as a student, a lot of you guys don't like to study because in our entire life, we completed our uh, elementary school, our high school, our college, our university. So almost 20 to 20 plus years, each and everybody we already expend for education, study. And most of the students hate study. But to survive, to build your career, you need to study. So now this study purpose is completely different than your educational background study. So the, for the educational background, you followed some syllabus based on your university and degree, but this is completely professional. So if you want to establish yourself as a professional, this is the course for you. This is the course for you who lives in the United States or Canada or Australia or any other country in the world because IT technology is in every hire. So if you want to establish yourself as an IT professional, if you don't know nothing about the IT, even though you never touch computer or anything, it doesn't matter. It's just only one thing you need, which is your dedication. The only one thing you need, your dedication. Six month dedication, that means six month dedicated time you have to invest for this study. And I'll go over with all the materials and everything. So it's gonna be, the whole course will contain 28 lectures. Uh, so 28 lecture means 28 videos. So you have to complete all 28 videos. After that, you will be able to deliver or you will be able to introduce yourself as a professional. And also you can search for a job as a professional. But the only requirement is you have to complete each and every lecture. You have to spend your time. If you say, for example, it, it's gonna be recorded session. So if you spend say two weeks for one video, that's also, that can be change your life. Maybe it's gonna take you more than six months. But if you think about the last 20 years, what you did, what's your achievement? But if you spend only six months or one year, your career will be like, will change. Your career will change. And also you will be able to establish yourself as an IT professional. So just think about that. So not only you can establish yourself as an IT professional, also you can earn money. So whenever you have a professional uh, knowledge and you know how to implement it, then you get a better job. And if you get a better job, that means you're gonna make better money, right? Than your regular job. So let's get started. Now I'll show you actually uh, after completing the course, system admin course, what you can do, what kind of title you can get, and what's the demand of this course, and um, how much salary you can get, and what's the requirement to do this course, right? So let me share with you now. So system admin and VMware admin. So basically, what um, quality or what kind of um, experience you need to start this course, right? So as I'm saying here, 
So are you looking for an IT career? No experience. You know all it. That means if you don't have any experience, no all it. We will teach you hands on. That means I'll teach you hands on. Are you an IT professional working as an IT help desk? So maybe you are working already in IT field. You're working as an um, IT help desk or IT support or service desk or data center technician or data support or associate IT support. But that means all are uh, categorized by a junior level where you are making maybe around 40k to 80k, right? But if you want to upgrade yourself, if you want to be change your career to the next level or advanced level, this is the course for you. So whoever is going to complete this course from, from the first chapter to last chapter, and whoever can complete practice all chapters, definitely will be able to work as a senior infrastructure engineer or senior system admin or senior DMR admin with minimum 120 plus 100, 120k plus minimum if you are that level but it depends which level you are in based on that you're gonna get salary so that's why I said as a salary in the market you can get 100k to 180k depends on your experience it means your knowledge you don't have experience but if you can gather that experience level of knowledge that means six to eight years experience of knowledge you get salary 100k to 180k or more than that or more than that means what if you have a special like top secret uh, clearance if you get like if you get a job first time and the company uh, if the company will do your uh, clearance, and if you have top secret clearance, then you'll get more, more than $200,000, you know, 200K plus. Okay. So after completing this course, what will be your title? What kind of job you can search? That's another important thing, right? That's another thing you need to understand. So what we will cover on this course, we're going to cover Windows Server Administration, the like complete Windows Server Administration, Network and IT Security, plus BMR Data Center Virtualization. So BMR, complete BMR course. Itself, each and every one is a course. Like Windows is a complete one big course. Network is a one big course. BMR, BMR Virtualization is a big course. But in this, uh, training course, I accumulated everything together, combine everything together, make a bundle, which is, which I cover everything, Windows, networking, IT security, and VMR virtualization, completely one pack, and that will help you to get a job, and, and, and also um, what kind of job, and what kind of title you can get, and what kind, what, and uh, how you gonna search for the job, right? So you need to know what kind of title, right? So the title should be after you complete this course successfully, your title should be like system administrator, Windows system admin, uh, BMO admin. You can work as a BMO admin. You can work as a BMO engineer. You can work as an IT support engineer. You can work as an infrastructure admin. You can work as an infrastructure engineer. It depends, right? It depends and it's up to you. So we're going to discuss about, in this entire course, we're going to discuss about uh, physical server activities because now I believe all of you guys, I believe all of you guys already deal with laptop, right? That means you have a laptop at your hand. Same thing, whenever you join for a company, they will give you a laptop. So, like uh, more than four or five years ago, Whenever you join a company, the company gives you a desktop computer. But now, most of the people, they work from um, home, they're all remotely. And if you go office, still like they give you the same thing, laptop, so you're gonna connect your laptop with you, uh, maybe extend that to a free monitor. But most of the company right now, they give you laptop. So laptop is the end user level of device, which you can use with Windows 10 and Windows 11. But whenever you work as a, system administrator or system engineer, that means you're gonna day to day, you're gonna deal with some server, 
some application, your server application is going to be built inside the server. That means it's a different operating system. We're going to run on our first class. So the uh, operating system means it's like server level operating system. So there's a lot of server level operating system in our class, in our this course, we're going to uh, learn Windows 20, 2016, 2019, 2022 in the server. And also we're gonna learn some um, legacy in the server, which is 2012, which is going to be end of life in um, 2023 October. So that means um, you have to have knowledge of Windows server operating system, not only Windows server, other operating system, Linux, Unix. So we will touch a little bit about how we can deploy the Linux PM virtual machine. So we're going to learn virtual machine, virtual environment, we're going to learn physical environment, we're going to learn network, we're going to learn backup, all those things you're going to learn, which I'm going to discuss on the syllabus. And that will be the, uh, some, that will be the salary level for this. And, um, So in this, so this is this is what you need to know for what you're gonna do with this course, right? What do you learn from this course, and how much salary you can get? What should be your title? And also, you're gonna get the complete uh, course curriculum on that. Um, like I'm going to discuss the whole course cur curriculum plus. Um, one thing you need to know actually why you need this stuff, right? Why you need to learn this? Why you need to, you need to learn virtualization? What is the market demand? So now I cannot just discuss about the market demand. So for describing the market demand, just I I just give you some example, and after that you can calculate what should be your demand in the market if you learn this first. So there is a lot of IT tracks, right? A lot of IT tracks. You can be you can be a programmer. Programmer is also different different types of programmer, like C, C Sharp, Java, and then you can be a developer, .NET developer. You can be uh, like uh, some other developer, uh, PHP, MySQL, a lot of stuff, right? As a developer, web development, apps development, Java development, Java developer, Java programmer, application developer. Um, like software testing, uh, some um, quality assurance, uh, SQL Server DBA, Oracle DBA, uh, like Oracle developer, SQL developer. It's a lot of IT tracks. So why you should choose system admin and DNA admin, or why you should choose this track? But the reason you should choose, if I give you an example, you will be clear, very clear what like how much demand you will have, not only in the United States, all over the world. Each and every company in the world, whenever they, they are thinking they should have an IT department. It's not mandatory that it should be IT company. It can be any company, but each and every company has their different, different department, right? Marketing, sales, HR, same kind of like, now it is each and every company has their IT department. So if any company wants to start their IT department, the first person they need, the first num number one employee, the first employee they need, which is system admin. Without system admin, they cannot start their department. Because they need to build their infrastructure, right? They would not build that infrastructure. The system is the first person to manage their organization. So whenever they have the organization, whenever they have ID department, then they need maybe other people, other tax people. That means if they are a financial institution, maybe they need a DBA. If they are a software company, they are building software for other company. That means their software needs to be test. So they need a programmer, they need a tester, they need a for the if the application or software has a database for that, they need maybe DBA, 
Uh, it can go up or deep. It can depend from the application. So the other people gonna become later on later after you. So the you are the first person to provide the support. That means if any company, say for example the company they don't build anything, they they just purchase application from third party. That means they don't need any application developer. They don't need any maybe here. But they need a system that they need to manage the application. Not only that, they have their sales department, they have their marketing department, right? Their administration. So all the people, like 50 to 100 people, if they want to manage, manage their equipment, manage their activities, manage their data, they need a department. So it's a system admin department who can manage their employees, their employees' equipment, their employees, their application, their servers. The laptop, everything. So now just think by yourself how much demand you have in each and every organization, not only in the US, all over the world. And the technology is growing very faster. Maybe some of the uh, department will be dissolved because of the technology improvement. So you guys already uh, knows about um, what is called um, artificial intelligence AI. So AI is in the market now and is developing. So AI can change a lot of stuff, right? It can be automated a lot of stuff, but three department never can be changed, which is a system administration. Like we can build infrastructure. So anytime, whatever the record is coming, you need infrastructure, so they're never going to be changed. Otherwise, network, network department. So if you have an infrastructure, that means you need a network to connect to your departments or you connect to the application. So you are equivalent, right? So network engineers or network department, you need it. System admin, network team, network engineer, plus another one is IT security. You cannot compromise with your security, right? So you need a security team, IT security, which is called cyber security. So now you can calculate your demand with this page. And that's all for your understanding why you need to do this course, what should be your title, what should be your salary range, and what should be your previous experience or qualification is to complete this course. I believe you guys understand. Now I'm going to start with the syllabus. Uh, I'll describe all the lectures, like the complete syllabus for 2VA, System Engineer and VMware Admin. So this is the chapter one, Introduction to System Administration. So I'll discuss everything on this chapter about the operating system, Windows, Linux, Unix, all kinds of operating systems, Microsoft Active Directory, networking, hardware, server vendor, a laptop, desktop, everything I'll discuss on this. And chapter two, introduction to virtualization. That means in this chapter, I will discuss about the virtualization technology. Nowadays, all over the world, most of the company, they have their virtual environment. So we need to know actually what kind of virtualization is exist and which technology we should use for virtualization, which company we should use for virtualization, so we're going to discuss everything in here, in this chapter. And then networking fundamentals. So to be working as a system admin or a VMware admin or VMware engineer or system engineer, you, you need to know some networking. You should have some network concept, understanding. You don't need to be a network professional, but you should have some network knowledge. That means. Each and everybody, we already involved with network. So if you have a Wi-Fi router, or if you use your Wi-Fi connections on your laptop, your phone, cell phone, that means you're already engaged with the networking, but you don't know actually what's going on inside, right? You, each and everybody in your home, you have a Wi-Fi connections. You have a network connections, right? So that means, and also at your home, you have maybe uh, multiple devices, right? TV, phone, cell phone, laptop, desktop, maybe game device. And a lot of the device nowadays is connected with the Wi-Fi. 
through your network connections, right? So that means internally at your home, you have a network, but you don't know. You don't know what kind of IP you are getting, how it's configured, what is the Wi-Fi, what is the device name, what is the router, what is the gateway, you don't know, right? So we're gonna discuss everything, which is called, uh, calling as a networking fundamentals. So we're gonna understand, we're gonna learn introduction to basic networking, network handling, color coding, LAN, MAN, one. It's just all basic things. And I'll give you, I, I'll give with an example. So I don't wanna teach you anything with just theory. Everything I'm gonna discuss as a, a like practical example. So networking fundamentals. This is a theory class, but I'll try to make it easier. And IP submitting is very, very important for a system admin because whenever you work as a system admin, you need to configure some server and application. So for server and application, you need to deal with IP. So you network team, your network team will provide you the IP addresses, but you need to understand what, what classes of IP, what should be the subnet, what should be the subnet mask, or should be the default gateway. All those words is new for you right now, but it's gonna be very easy for you because I will make it easy and we're gonna learn this IP submitting with a game. So you're gonna feel you are you are playing a game and that's how we're gonna learn. So IP submitting in our fourth chapter and then Windows OS deployment laptop or desktop imaging. So this one actually I, I have a video, um, YouTube video on my channel. So this one also like is on demand class so you can learn from there. And chapter six, remote host management. Okay, before I go six, let's just a little bit about this. Windows OS deployment and laptop. So whoever is working as a IT support, help desk support, uh, they need to know actually how to install um, Windows operating, Windows end user level operating system or client-based operating system, which is Windows 10 or Windows 11. So how are you gonna install it? How are you gonna image it, uh, imaging this OS to a laptop or a desktop? So that's what I'm gonna teach on this chapter, on this class. Um, the all process and procedures, okay? Uh, so chapter six is remote host management and IDEC I rate configuration. It's gonna be total two class, that means two video. So remote host management, that means what? You cannot be a system admin. So that's why to be a system admin, you have to deal with some server. So you need to know actually how to configure the server. Before you configure the server, you need to configure the server remote management. So we are not familiar with IDRAC, RAID, but eventually we're gonna be familiar with this because I'll describe everything on this chapter. So this chapter will have total two video, two class. Chapter seven. Active Directory and DNS and the solution configuration. So in this chapter, we're gonna learn how to implement Active Directory. So Active Directory, you don't know any idea about what is the Active Directory. Each and every company in the world, not only United States, not only Canada, or not only Australia, it's all over the world. All companies, they have Active Directory system. So that active directory system is somebody, somebody configure it, somebody install it, somebody maintain it, somebody deploy it, right? Who is the somebody? It's a some system admin. So you're gonna be a system admin. So maybe you have to do for some other company too, for new company too. Or maybe you have, you gonna, the company you join, they have already system active directory, you need to manage it, right? So I will teach you from the scratch how you can implement Active Directory, how you can manage Active Directory, how you can upgrade Active Directory, everything I'll teach. So it's gonna be total three classes, of, that means three video for this chapter. And chapter eight, VMware, VSphere 6.5, or maybe actually actually it's not 6.5, now, it now it's 6.7 to um, 6.7 or maybe 7.0, and maybe it's gonna be 8.0 because the latest version is 8.0, VSphere 8.0. Installation and configuration so is gonna to be total two class. It's gonna to be total two class and I'll describe everything on these two class two videos. So I'll teach from scratch, like how you can 
create, how we can create or deploy a virtual environment, virtual data center from the beginning to end. So installation, configuration, and maintenance, administration. So this will take two class, so that means two video. So we're gonna learn what? We're gonna learn VMware virtualization. Virtualization, there's a lot of companies like VMware means, like I said, Microsoft. Microsoft is a company, right? Dell is a company, HP is a company. So Dell, HP, they provide hardware. Microsoft provide operating system. So VMware provide virtualization software, virtualization technology. And VMware is the number one vendor, number one company for the virtualization sector. So we're gonna discuss other virtualization company also in this uh, on, on the class. And chapter nine, virtual network and storage configuration. That means whenever you are gonna build a virtualization, that means virtual data center, you need to configure the network also. And the network also gonna be a virtual. It's not physical, it's gonna be a virtual. So the network engineer, they configure a switch router in the data center is a physical equipment, physical device, right? They configure it. But we're going to learn how to configure the virtual one, which is there is no physical presence as a network inside the virtualization platform. So we're going to create and configure virtual network and storage. Oh, all right. And VMware infrastructure patching, upgrade, and migration. So chapter 10, VMware infrastructure patching, upgrade, and migration. That means. Whenever you have a VMware environment, say you environment, your company has a VSphere, VMware, VSphere 6.5. So you need to apply the patch when the company released. Plus, whenever the VMware released the latest version, you need to migrate, you need to upgrade your system. So I will teach in this chapter how actually you go from one version to other version, migration, upgrade process. Everything on this chapter, it will not take total two class. That means two video. Network services and security. So under this, actually, we're going to discuss about the compliance security. Compliance security. Um, cyber security or compliance security. And how to remediate the compliance vulnerability based on the policy. So we're going to learn basically group policy here in this chapter. So that's how we can work with the cybersecurity team to ensure your environment is safe. You have security, okay? Baseline security. So chapter 12, Active Directory, Upgrade and Migration, chapter 12. So whenever you have an Active Directory environment, maybe some company you join, and, and they are using Windows 2012 Active Directory or Windows 2016. They are planning to upgrade to 2019 or 2022. And they give you the responsibility. How are you going to do that? So you need to know actually how to upgrade, right? Upgrade and migration. So that's what we're going to learn on this chapter. And it's going to be one class, one video. Chapter 13, Windows patching with WSUS and SCCM. In all of the world, whoever is using Windows Server, they need to apply monthly patch to their server. So that means what? Each and every company, I think everybody have Windows Server, everybody, each and every company. So whenever they have a server, that means they must need to patch, they must need to apply the update to their server every month. Now, what is the frequency of every month? Microsoft release update patch every month, that second Tuesday, second Tuesday of the month, and then past a third week, all other company, they apply the patch. So you need to know how to apply those patch and how you can apply. It. If you have a 200 server, 300 server, you're gonna individually install the patch, it's not possible. Within one day, you cannot complete 200 server or 300 server or 500 server. How are you going to do that? So you have to apply the patch through a tools. So this is the tools we're going to discuss is, is WSOF and SSCM. Both are, both are Microsoft tools, WSOF and SSCM. 
So you're gonna learn how you can apply the patch through WSAF and SSCM. Chapter 14, upgrade and patching. For BMR, so BMR upgrade and patching. So you're gonna learn on this chapter. And a SQL Server database administration. So why we need SQL Server? Why we need to learn SQL Server? Because a lot of the organization, they don't have DBA, database administrator, because their environment is not database oriented. Database oriented means maybe the organization never used like high volume of database. That, that means it's not a financial institution. It's not a bank. So there is not that, there is like, there's, they don't deal with that much uh, data every day. Everybody, each and everybody deal with the data, but I think I say like that much data means, think about a bank, bank transaction or Walmart transaction, a huge volume of transaction every second, right? But there is a lot of company who just use the application and their application use the database and they don't have that much uh, involvement with the database that must transaction with the database. So those application need to be on the back end need to be connected with the database. And those type of company that maybe they don't have any DBA. So who gonna who gonna take care of that, those database? So as a system admin, your responsibility will be to take care of this database, also configure the database for the application. So in this video, we're gonna learn actually how you can configure an application with the SQL database, how to install the SQL database, how to maintain the SQL database, and also how you can ensure SQL high availability, SQL database high availability. That means how you can create your own SQL database environment where you can host multiple applications on the same high availability database. That means what? If something goes wrong of one of the database server, another database server will be support, will provide support to your application. That's what you're gonna learn which is called SQL Server Always On Configuration. So we're gonna learn in this video. And then chapter 16, backup and recovery. This is very, 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 very important for a system admin because you are a system admin, you have to ensure all of the data you have for, for your company is back up. And also you have a recovery solution. If one data center goes down, you can recover it from other data center. So that's what we're gonna learn in this chapter. So basically you're gonna learn one uh, backup tools, which is called Beam Backup and the application plus, we're gonna learn some uh, basics, actually what kind of backup technology we have and uh, and also recovery, so what, what types of recovery solution we have and how we can utilize it. So all those things we're gonna discuss on this chapter and chapter 17, which is monitoring and troubleshooting. This is also important for all system admins because as a system admin, you're gonna be deal with multiple application, multiple multiple server, physical server, virtual server, a lot of things. Like say, for example, um, 500 to 1,000 server application, right? So it's not possible for you to go each and every application or each and every service to check what's the status of hardware, what's the status of software, what's the status of this, this blah blah blah, right? It's not possible. So how are you gonna monitor them? on behalf of you, on, on, on in, in a sense of you, how you can monitor it. So you, have, you, you need to have some monitoring tools. Through the modern tools, you should, so if you have a modern tool that means you're gonna, you, you will be able to generate some alert based on the alert, it's gonna send it to your email and based on that, your email, you will know, okay, actually, what's going on with which server, right? Based on the alert, based on the alarm. So we're gonna learn some monitoring tools in this video, which is basically SolarWinds monitoring system plus some other monitoring system. And chapter 18, application server and configuration is uh, just one class. So we're gonna learn actually FTP server, uh, print server and ISO web server. In this chapter, actually, uh, some like most of the things is nowadays, if you like, if it is a big organization, they have separate uh, like dedicated application uh, uh, engineer or something, so they can 
like configure this but if they don't have how as a system and how you gonna money how you gonna implement it so i'll show you the way to create a print server is pretty in, important but is and ftp server ftp server also system admin managed but is server is most of the big organization they manage through their application engineer or maybe application um, whoever is responsible for the application dedicated Chapter 19, enterprise level third party tools. So in this class, I will discuss about some tools. As a system admin, day to day, your day to day activities, you need to deal with some tools, small, small tools, which is SSH or telnet client tools, remote desktop management client tools, patching tools, monitoring tools, network quick test tools, backup tools, VMware tools, a lot of tools. So I'm gonna, we're going to discuss about the tools. And chapter 20, the last chapter, job preparation. So I'll take two classes two video, like how you can build your resume, how you can talk with your interviewer, how you can talk to the recruiter and all the stuffs and process. We're gonna learn on this video. So that's it, that's the syllabus. Just follow my class lecture. And in this video, I'll describe everything related to the system administration. I will try to make it easy to understand. And, and also I'll give some real time example to remember long time remember like that's how you gonna understand but the only thing i need you dedicated time just remember one thing nobody can confirm you job because if you think about you are studying a high class or high level university right number like a world ranking university but do you think your university will give you a guarantee to get a job no nobody can give you guarantee to get a job right so you have to manage your job. That means what? You have to develop yourself. But this course is completely designed. This course is completely designed with professional um, topics. Like everything is 100% enterprise level professional. Like it's not your university subject or something like you just learn and getting or get your pass the exam. It's not like that. Is hundred percent practical. So I hope you guys will, will enjoy the, this class. Um, follow my lecture chapter by chapter, and hopefully you will be en enjoyed and also you will be learn something. And I hope you will get a job. So just invest your dedicated time. Again, I said dedicated time because six months is nothing for your life. If you invest six six month dedicated crazy time. It will change your entire life. And that's all for today. And thank you. Thanks for watching this video. If you think this video is um, helpful for you or your friends, please share with your friends or your colleague or your coworker. And if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up and click the bell icon to get my uh, next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.